2013 for the Ball State Cardinals was born ripe with optimism. There was an energy and a buzz throughout campus and around Muncie. An excitement built on the success of last year's 9-4 record. The return of college football's most under-the-radar quarterback. Equipped again with every offensive weapon at his disposal. Players listed on 11 total watch lists. And a youthful vitality on defense. A group hungry to prove its doubters wrong. But a team does not merely rise to meet expectations armed with promise alone. These Ball State Cardinals were forged of hard work, desire, a will to be great. An ability to meet any challenge, any challenger, anything, anytime, anywhere. The Illinois State Redbirds were first in line on the Cardinals' conquest, an FCS opponent, but won an off-season remove from a deep playoff run and a win at Appalachian State. Trailing at the half, a sleeping giant awoke in the second. The Cards outscored the Redbirds 35-7 after the break, soaring to a 51-28 win and spreading their wings to the tune of 420 yards on offense, 340 through the air. Well, he stayed number three in the slot. Looking for Williams to the end zone. Touchdown. And they like Jordan Williams. They like his size and like his speed. And they saw a one-on-one -on -one matchup with a little bit of a too much of a cushion right there by Illinois State. Willie Sneed was the day's big target. Nine catches, 164 yards, and two touchdowns. And he gets after it. When he needs seven, he gets more than that. It's a race to the end zone. Touchdown. Wenning takes the snap, throws corner over the shoulder. It's caught. Touchdown, Willie Sneed. Willie Sneed, five foot eleven, and he is Keith Wenning's favorite target here in the red zone. But it was upstart Jordan Williams and senior Jameel Smith that stole the show. So returnable, Jameel Smith to the five, up the middle, 10, 15, 20, has a seam 30 to the 35, 40, outside. Jameel Smith, he's open, 50 to the 45, cut back on his feet. He's down to the 10. And as for that defense, Ben Ingle picked up his first interception, two TFLs and nine total tackles in his first career start. But at the end of the season, Ben Ingle was playing a ton for us. He played more in Miami, Ohio than the other linebacker we had. As a linebacker, you got to love football. These guys, like, they are guys that live and breathe it, and that's what we want in this group. Speed, physical, I and mean, that's what linebacker's all about, and that's what I try to do every day. We didn't come here to sit on the bench. We came here to play, um, so we all had that mentality. And Nathan Ali led the squad to 10 tackles for loss, nearly one-fifth of last year's season total. Week two brought a familiar foe. The Army Black Knights met the cards for the third consecutive season. And after a close win last year, Ball State exploded for a 40-14 final in Muncie. Winning looking left, fires for the corners, got a man, Smith! Touchdown! On the dive, Jamil caught it over the shoulder. Winning, deep ball, downfield, and it's Maybon. He's got it, and he's run out of bounds near the midfield strike. Turrentine's also in. Santiago's going to keep it, and he is rocked. That is Brian Jones, a strong safety. The Cardinals' 91 points through two games set a school record, surpassing the 83 from that magical 2008 season. Meanwhile, the defense and special teams continued what would soon become a trend, creating turnovers. Steven Fraser hit the ball, comes free. Ball State has it at the 11. The big hit and the recovery for Ball State's Aaron Hepp. And the Diago to throw, heaves over the oh. middle and intercepted. Jeffrey Garrett at the 50, on his feet, 45, spins off a tackle down to the 40. Ball State intercepts it. That's another turnover for Army. Jeff Garrett. It was also a big day for junior kicker Scott Secor. Good on all four attempts with a long of 47, cementing himself firmly after inheriting the reins from Olmec kicker Stephen Schott. Because the way we do things 365 days a year is that we get the next guy ready. And we, are, we believe in each other. Uh, we, we are working hard to, to build our depth. 
Uh, we're slowly but surely becoming a, a deeper team because our retention has been outstanding. We believe in our players. And a guy goes down, the next guy steps up. And we don't change what we do. We don't make a big deal out of it. We just keep moving forward. A two and one start led the Cards into conference play and a second consecutive road game. The Cards at Eastern Michigan and another 50 point effort later, Ball State sat three and one. Far side hash, two receivers right, winning, snap, drop back, throws the fade, caught, left corner, touchdown Ball State. Jordan Williams runs it out the back and up the hill to the right. Edwards the running back, he's into block. Winning, back, airs it out, looking deep. Jordan Williams, he's got it at the goal line. Touchdown, Ball State. That was a perfect throw, perfect throw. Dylan Balder, place kicking for Eastern Michigan, but it got touched. Nine yards, second and one. Jackson again, this time modest success. Looks like the ball is loose, and the Cardinals have recovered the football. Bends back to throw, little pop pass, intercepted in the end zone. Jonathan Newsom. John Newsom drops into coverage and has his first career interception. It was a 27 point first quarter festival. Back from injury, Jawan Edwards rumbled 36 yards for an early touchdown, followed by a 43 yard Horatio Banks home run. Banks, the running back, takes the handoff. His first action today. He breaks it to the outside. Down the near hash. Horatio Banks off to the races. And the Cardinals have scored on the ground again. And before it was over, Edwards found the end zone twice more. Uh, it was a great feeling to be back. Uh, haven't missed a game since like my sophomore year of high school. You know, just the presence he has. And, and then also the one-two punch with him and Horatio. In the air, Keith Wenning racked up his fourth straight 300-yard game becoming one of only five quarterbacks nationally to do so in each of the season's first four games. His favorite target was, as usual, 175 yards to Willie Sneed. Again, Willie Sneed. Ball State also brought out some trickery in this one. Jameel Smith scoring from 25 yards on an end around. At the time, Smith became just the 25th player since the start of 2012 to score a touchdown rushing, passing, and receiving in all of FBS football. And by the way, with so many points lighting up the scoreboard, the Cards saw themselves as the only non-BCS AQ conference school ranked in the nation's top 10 scoring, just four spots behind Oregon and two back of LSU. Back home in week five, the Cardinals had a fight on their hands, hosting Toledo, a traditional Mac power in front of 18,000 fans, the largest crowd in Muncie, since the 2008 season, and this one came down to the wire. To the end zone, touchdown, Jawan Edwards at Ball State. Back in front. Jawan Edwards' four-yard touchdown run, his sixth in two games, gave the Cards a 31-24 victory, their second straight over the Rockets. The win marked by those punishing runs. Give to Edwards. Into the secondary, first down, Jawan Edwards. Snap, handoff, Jawan Edwards. Wedding is upfield as a blocker, and he opens up Edwards for a touchdown. Joel, that was all formation. Coach Frosty. Another 300-yard day for Keith Wedding. His school record, 11. Another play action for Wedding. Going to the same spot, Scott Steve. To the five-yard line. Wedding looking deep. Jordan Williams got it, out of bounds at the eight. Again. Snap, it's a fake, Wenning will keep it and waltz into the end zone. Third rushing touchdown of the season for the quarterback, Keith Wenning. Ball State is back in front of Toledo. And unwavering defense. Out of the backfield goes Fluella, it's wide open. Owens doesn't see him and now throws. And it's picked off. And a three with the interception. The effort gave BSU 12 takeaways for the season. Just two off 2012's total. The improvement marked a 96-spot jump in the national rankings, the largest leap nationally. And as for the team's seventh straight conference W, well, that's good enough for fifth in the country. Just one spot behind Florida State. It was a great plan by Jay Bateman and the defensive coaches. Great plan. Just as early as uh, midday on Monday, I just felt really, really good about what we were doing. 
and then the kids came out and executed him. That staunch conference test was the perfect amuse-bouche for what came next. The Cards' final non-league matchup of the regular season and a showdown with one of the nation's toughest defenses. On the road, in ACC country, at Virginia. The Cards found themselves down 17-7 early in the second quarter, but UVA's lead wouldn't last. Ball State outscored the Hoos 41-10 the rest of the way and route to a landmark 48-27 win. The program's fifth over a BCS AQ opponent and first over a school from the ACC. The win also extended BSU's win streak over AQ conference schools to three, best in the country for a non-AQ team. Um, I think we're capable of playing a little bit better. So hopefully we can keep hanging in there till the end and make a play down the stretch. You're missing some guys on defense we're, too. We're missing a lot of guys before we came and a couple more after the game started, but our kids will fight. Watford on third down, pass, it is picked off. Picked off at the 32 yard line by Jeffrey Garrett. Watford looks, throws to his tight end. Jake McGee loses the football, Ball State's got it. Edwards and Wedding made the day's biggest individual headlines. Quake's three touchdowns gave him nine in three games. The school record for career rushing scores and a college game day final helmet sticker. Handoff goes to Edwards into the pile left, squirts out 10, five, touchdown, and a record for the Cardinals. Oh my God. Jawan Edwards adds on six more and is Ball State's all time rushing touchdown leader. Wedding's 346 passing yards also gave him a record. The day upped his career total to 9,238 yards, passing Nate Davis for the most in school history. Second and seven. Wedding's got time, looking for Williams, caught, and he will take it to the house. 72 yards, Obi. And as for head coach Pete Lembo, well, he became just the sixth MAC head coach since the advent of the BCS to win four or more games against AQ conference teams. That's a list headlined by a guy who coaches just down the road. His name is Urban Meyer. Homecoming followed for the Cardinals and another crowd of over 16,000 at the shoe. This one was token cards. Down late, grinded out battle. This one marked fourth quarter comeback number 10 in the Lembo era. Wanting to throw, looking, looking, it's got Steve, touchdown! But the defense was the true story against the Flashes. Fumble recovery number 11 placed the Cards number one in America. Takes over just like that. Two and a half minutes in, Cardinals one, Dree Archer nothing. Interception number seven, that equaled the team's season total of a year ago. And the 18 total takeaways sat second in the nation. Snap, winning, play fake, looking deep. Willie Sneed, double coverage, end zone, catch down! And a touchdown! Willie Sneed split two defensive backs. Banks in the backfield to protect. Winning throw, he's got a man, it's Smith, touchdown! Schmidt gets rid of this one in the direction of Calhoun, and the Gunners will cover it. How about this at the one yard line? Meanwhile, All-American Dree Archer mustered just 20 yards for Kent, his lowest output in two years for a game in which he was healthy. And oh yeah, there was that goal line stand. To Durham, and he's not gonna make it. Reardon under center, snap, handoff, Durham, and he's brought down again for a loss at the five. The Cardinals will drag him to the 10, Nathan Ollie. Hey, how about that defense? Yeah. I think we all know what just happened, right? It wasn't pretty, it wasn't our best, but we found a way to get it done, okay? All right, proud of you guys. Right. On the road again for a pair at Western Michigan and Akron, the Cardinals' resolve would be tested. How would the team fare against squads with unimpressive records, but dangerous talent? Well, the answer was just what Cardinal fans had been hoping for, a 38-17 win at Western's Banks, Waldo Stadium. Patiently hole opens, Banks open field, 25-20. One man to beat, and he does. 10-5, into the end zone. Horatio Banks from 38, and the Cardinals score the day's first touchdown. One that saw Keith Wedding eclipse Nate Davis's career passing touchdown mark. 
now at 75. Shamil Smith, all five feet, eight inches tall, and it turns out to be enough. It was also his eighth straight game over 300 yards. Wedding snaps, throws, that's complete over the middle. Sneed slips through a tackle, open at the 15, runs to the near side 10. At the five, Willie Sneed to the end zone, and he flips in for a touchdown. On Edwards country here. Winnie, no, a play fake, bootlegs underneath, wide open, the tight end fakes, touchdown Cardinals. New Seminole, we've called their names a few times today. They'll share a sack as they drop Terrell for a loss. I don't think this was, uh, you know, our A-plus game, but it was a solid effort. And the other thing that I'm really uh, pleased about is how guys stepped up when we needed to. And uh, when our offense is working well, that's that's what we're doing. We're we're throwing the, the, the ball to the guy that uh, it should go to. And Aaron Hep was that guy a couple times today, and he made it happen. In Akron, the Cards wasted no time, scoring their first two trips down the field in a grand total of five minutes. And they did so in spectacular fashion. Inside the one. There's that hard count, and when he got him to jump, he'll throw the fade. What a tremendous grab by Willie Sneed. Touchdown, Ball State. Look how Pole got drilled, oh. football's out, and Ball State's on it. It was just a touchdown kind of day for Ball State. Wending tied his own school record with five through the air. Ball State for the 20, set a bubble screen. Jordan Williams, uh -oh. inside the five, he's to the house. Winning, gonna throw the fade to the corner. Jamil Smith's got it. While Juwan Edwards ran for another, tying the school record for total touchdowns, scored in a career 37. They're going to put him out of bounds at the three-yard line. There's the signal. Touchdown, Jawan Edwards. The final, 42-24. The Akron game marked the team's final Saturday game of the season. Midweek action hit full swing. BSU starting its national TV slate with a Wednesday night affair at home with Central Michigan. And if the Akron game got off to a hot start, well, then this one was an inferno. They bring Presser. It's picked off, giving Wedding time to fire to the end zone. Caught for a touchdown. Jordan Williams is coming off his best game as his eighth score of the season. And Ball State with a first drive score. Presser comes. It's picked off. That one's picked off. Jeffrey Garrett steps in front of it. Shadow with their own end zone. Here's Horacio Banks with his first touch. And Banks with speed. Makes a cut to the outside and takes it across the 40. A first down throw. Wedding looking for Steed who beats Greer. First down inside the 15. Willie Sneed, one of the nation's top receivers, runs the post for 49. Off play action, Wedding's got Steed wide open, and it's a touchdown. They go 96 yards in three plays, and touchdown, Willie Sneed. Look at Smith, wide open, too easy, touchdown, Ball State. Ball State led 31-3 at the break. The Cards never really were challenged, racking up 540 total yards of offense. 299 from Keith Wedding, 118 from Willie Sneed, 90 from Juwan Edwards, and another 143 from Horatio Banks. The success on the ground at this point was no surprise. Sure, the Cardinals have great running backs, but the Ball State offensive line at this point in the season had grown from a question full of youth to one of the better units in the conference. We talk about Matt Page and Jake Richard and even Jalen Schlachter, you know, have played meaningful snaps in the game. And of course, we don't have the same experience we had last year, but we have some good football players. A lot of guys went down last year. People stepped in. We got experience through that. And we got a lot of guys with chips on our shoulders. Sneed also made a pair of touchdown grabs. Gave him 12 for the season, a new school record. Executing. Wow, what a job by Sneed to hang on through contact. And the defense. Oh, the defense, it had itself a day. The Cards sacked CMU quarterback Cooper Rush three times. They forced three more turnovers and held star running back Sailor Lavalli to 1.8 yards per carry. Final score, Ball State 44, Central Michigan 24. Black Friday for a regular season finale. Triumph would give Ball State just its third ever 10-win season, 1978, 2008, 
and 2013. And Triumph is exactly what the Cardinal and White would do, 55 to 14. With the record book strewn about the field in the process. Winning got Sneed wide open, touchdown. Wow, that was really easy against the Brits. Looking, looking, airs it high. Smith leaps, he makes the catch, and a oh touchdown. My. Jameel Smith is five foot eight. Go, go, gadget arms. He jumped up to about six five. Oh, I tell you that, what a remarkable catch. Keith Wedding's six touchdowns marked a new school record. And his 3,933 yards for the season. Well, that also marked a new school record. At the same time, Willie Sneed's 133 yards lifted him to 1,429 for the year. With Sneed, Jordan Williams, and Jameel Smith all eclipsing the 100-yard receiving plateau in the Miami game, it was the first time in history three cards all caught the century mark. And while it wasn't a record, Teddy Williamson did have a career-high 80 yards rushing in his first college TD. Now that's what you might call a grand finale. Nice return out to the 35, and he fumbles. Ball State football at the 46-yard line. Gearing drops back. Newsom gets to him. Strip him. sack. Ball is loose. Picked up by the Cardinals. The second of the <laughs> he's day. He's going. still going. They can't stop him to the 20. <laughs> Are you kidding? All of that success certainly doesn't go unnoticed. The Cardinals finishing the regular season 10 and 2 with the bowl game still looming on the horizon. Ball State's historic 10-win season earned the team a berth to its second Go Daddy Bowl, the first since the 2008 season. A week in Mobile included a Mardi Gras parade. I think this is everybody's first Mardi Gras parade for real. Hey, it is what it is. We having fun. Here comes some more stuff. Hey, go in my way. A visit to the historic USS Alabama. Me being a history guy, like things like that. You know. Getting to go inside a few of the uh, the old uh, gun gun ships or gun halls they had here is, is pretty neat. A bowling competition. No, nobody got a strike for me. Me and King, the only people got strikes. Real strike there. Let's go. Let's go. Two more. I can pick this up. And of course, a full slate of football and the Arkansas State Red Wolves. Unfortunately, the movie script ending fell just short. The Cardinal hopes of a bowl victory stolen away in the game's final 30 seconds. The closest the program's come to a postseason win. 23-20, the final score. Juwan Edwards did establish a new record for rushing yards by a Cardinal in a bowl game. 146 and a touchdown. And with nine grabs for 87 yards and a score, Willie Sneed eclipsed the school record for single season catches. 106 of them for over 1,500 yards and 15 touchdowns. The Cardinals' two touchdowns also brought that season total to 64, eclipsing the program record set in 2008. In total, the Cardinals' 10-3 record marks just the third 10-win season in school history. The 19 wins over the last two years tied for the most in a two-season span. And the team's winning percentage in 2013, 76%, more than 20 points above the program standard. And all told, feats accomplished by the 2013 Ball State Cardinals appear in the program's rankings and record book more than 100 times. The Ball State Cardinals, anything, anytime, anywhere.